Hello everyone, this is Teal Triple XS Racer again. Um, I'm now, I've been doing the lapping now on my CPU. I am just about to do the second time on the 1500 grit. I started at 800, I just, I didn't get the 600 grit, so I don't know if that will affect anything. But, so far this is what it looks like. There's a pretty good mirror finish to it so far. Um, and you can kind of tell where um, the high and low points are on the CPU. Right there in the middle and around the edges. Those were all the high points and those have been sanded so far. So I'm going to be lapping this one more time on the 1500 and then the 2000 grid to finish it off. And then I'll be lapping the bottom of the H50 to get that, make sure that's flat as well, um, just so then I have two flat surfaces, not one that's flat and the other might not be. Um, as far as uh, last video, I showed you kind of how to cut the tubes and everything. Right now, to kind of give an overview, when you, in order to take the tubes out, you will see the tubings here. You're going to want to take out this screw, this screw. That will be able to take this, the cover off. Then what, then you're going to see inside, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it too well, there's a screw. Well, I'll take it off real quick. Okay, now that I have the cover off, you're going to see the screw that's right there. Yeah, right there. Um, you're going to want to unscrew that in order to get the barbs off. And then what I found best to do as far as... Um, because when you put the new tubing on, it's going to be really flat and it's going to come up right to the bottom of this plastic piece at the bottom. I cut out a small little sliver about the width of the washer there out of the tubing so then you can push the washer back, in, back into place and before you kind of put everything back in I forgot to say this um, put the zip ties on as well that's going to want you should do this with it. any sort of tubing or barb, whether it be zip ties or um, tubing clamps of your choice, whatnot. Um, so do that. Just make sure that it's out of the way when you put the cover back on. Um, as you can see, I got the anti kink coils on there. Um, I don't really see a problem with this small of tubing kinking as far as how far it has to travel. I don't have many turns or bends in the loop, so I just now kind of see it as like a a cool factor to it. So, so there's that. And then I currently have my the reservoir and the radiator set up. I have the Scythe 3000 the Ultra Ks. And then I also have a Cooler Master R4. This is set up in a exhaust, the air to exit. And I'm going to have air blowing through the front here. So this is kind of, I bought in here also the shrouds. And the shrouds came with, I guess, this, uh, and this noise reducer foam you can kind of put in anywhere. I'm just going to put it along here since there's a gap on both sides just to kind of keep the air trapped and onto the radiator um, so then what I also found out is I on most cases I'm sure on mine I know that I couldn't have the fan the shroud radiator shroud fan again all in this inside because then the pump would not be able to fit onto the motherboard over the CPU this in, most inside fan would 
block about a third of the CPU itself. So I had to move the outside fan to the outside of the case in order for it to work. So now the CPU is going to be sitting right here. It's going to make the, the loop as far as tubing goes very small. The tubings are going to be just all really close together. Um, so as far as that goes, I'm going to finish lapping the CPU and the, the Corsair H50. Then I'm going to finish up putting the tubes on and zip tying them here to the barbs. And then hopefully I will get some distilled water and antifreeze and kind of do a mixture of that and then do a leak test and see how that goes, see how everything runs as far as um, leaking, if there is leaks. Then hopefully if it doesn't, I'll put everything back together. I'm also thinking about um, putting another one of these wire management holes about right here because um, there's just a lot of cables as far as like the USB that will plug into here um, like the HD uh, LED then the power button reset button are all going to be plugging right into here so hopefully this hole will make it a little easier as far as managing the wires make it look neater and then also the ATX um, pl four pin plug that goes into the motherboard from the power supply from here I for some reason my wa my cable is very kind of short and I have to run it over the top of everything and I just don't like that so I might try to see if this will help be able to make it run back behind make it look a little neater um, I also just found that doing all this, this is a good time if you guys haven't cleaned out your computer at all kind of clean it make sure there's no dust in it clean the fans and everything just so you kind of start out with a clean a clean build basically um, so as far as that goes this is the second video and next one I'll probably update as far as um, the tubing and the barbs and connecting those after I'm done with this lap situation here so thank you for watching everyone just have any questions just feel free to ask and thank you for Will Hummins I'm not sure how to pronounce it for this guide to begin with for the H50 for the tubing and the reservoir mod